All right, while I'm here, I want to go ahead and set up Windows Terminal to use Git Bash. Now this is optional, so if you don't plan on using Windows Terminal, then you can skip ahead. Back at my Windows desktop, I already have Windows Terminal installed. So I'll go ahead and launch that. And right now, PowerShell comes up as the default, which is fine, but I want to use the newly installed Git Bash instead. To do that, we can use the drop down to access the settings. Once on the settings page, we need to add a new profile. So go under profiles and click on add new. For the name, we can use git bash. For the command, let's click on browse. And now we need to navigate to where we have Git installed on our system, which is typically under the C drive, then program files, then Git. Once here, there is a specific executable we need to use. Go under the bin directory and simply select bash. This will be the bash executable that will be invoked every time we launch this profile. Go ahead and click open. Now, before we move on, there are a few adjustments we need to make. So go to the end of the command line, put your cursor at the very end, right after the .ext extension, and now we need a space. We need to add a couple of options. First, we'll do dash dash cd dash to dash home. Now another space dash dash login. Another space dash i. The first option will tell bash to go to the user's home directory. The next one will use the bash login script. And the last one is an interactive shell. All right, let's continue. Next, let's update our icon. Let's give this the icon that came with Git. So let's navigate to our Git installation directory. Now within here, we need to go to this folder, which represents the actual runtime, then go into share, then into then the git directory. Within here, there should be a git for windows icon. Select that file and then click on open. Tab title can be just about anything. We'll just use git bash for now. With everything on the general page filled out, let's go to appearance. Let's go to font size and increase this to 30. Now you might want to play around with the font size to match your screen the best. All right, with everything done, let's go ahead and save this profile. All right. Finally, one last thing. While we're here, let's go back up to startup and change the default profile to git bash. Great. That will make it so whenever I start up Windows Terminal, it automatically launches git bash for me. Let's go ahead and save our changes and close Windows Terminal so that we can try it out fresh. All right, so now let's launch Windows Terminal. If we do everything correctly, we should launch into 
get bash. And we can verify that by using our git command. And if you're not fully convinced we're running within git bash, there's another command we can use. Uname space dash a. Press enter. This pretty much confirms that we're running within the git bash environment. All right, now we can safely close.